the Bill Squire Friday get down is mere minutes away. It's how we know that the weekend is officially underway. It's brought to you by Cleveland Whiskey. Very exciting. I can't wait. And yet, I'll have to. Along with you, if you listen on iHeartRadio and you do it outside Ohio, tell me where. Rachel is one of our bureau chiefs in Redmond, Oregon. Uh, Joy listens in Lombard, Illinois. That is suburban Chicago. Brittany's in Matawan, Michigan. And Jordan is in Park City, Utah. So thanks. Hey, do you want to talk to Mary Santorum? You know, oh, own, yes, of course. Our own Mary Santorum. I thought you said Mary Santorum. I was like, not really, but Mary Santorum, <laughs> absolutely. Our own Mary Santora is out. I think she's back on Monday. Yeah, she should be. And um, Mary Santorum will check in sometime. It's kind of her comedy doppelganger. You there, Mary? Hello, Alan. This is Mary Santora. Yeah, how are you? It's it's been a while. I was out for a, a hot minute, and it's been a it's been a while. Yeah, first off, I want to give you my condolences. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I appreciate that. I remember when my father passed away. He was a handsome woman. We <laughs> called him Pat. Pat, right? Okay. <laughs> I see where this is going. <laughs> Understood. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alan, Alan, as you know, I do a lot of stand-up with my comedic <laughs> troupe, the Bombers, okay? Yeah. But I wanted to call and say hello to my favorite comic in the world, Mr. Bill Squire. Hello, Bill. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Bill, Bill, quick question. Have you been doing anything different? You've been looking really fresh lately. (laughs) Fresh. Well, I'm wearing a lot more collared shirts, so maybe that has to do with it. Well, all I have to say is, go get the butter, big boy. (laughs) You think it's the collared shirts that are uh, changing it? All right. All it took was a collar. Mm -hmm. A little snuggy on the neck. uh... Yeah, all right. (laughs) <laughs> Alan, Alan, I'm sad to hear Miss Mary Santora is out today. I'm so proud of her. It seems like her career is really taking off. Yeah. Well, she's not on the road. I think she was on a family vacation. She's on a family vacation yeah. this year. Yeah. She had told us the plans for this almost a year ago. Yeah, my absence yeah. was the unexpected one. Hers mm-hmm. was planned, yeah. But yeah, I mean, she's doing well, right? I mean, she's having a good time and... Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I've actually been working on a new impression of Mary Santora. Would you like an example? Oh, an impression of Mary Santora that you're yeah. going to do. All right, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, it goes like this. Uh-huh. I, me. I, me. My boyfriend and I. And did I mention me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you implying? Oh wow, I, that's your impression of Mary. I mean, it, it didn't sound like her per se, but uh, her timbre is difficult to nail. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. Yeah, okay. What are you, what were you saying, Bill? I, I are you implying that Mary makes everything about her? Well, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, Bill. I love talking about Mary also, but a little bit. <laughs> well, she's very she's happy with her boyfriend. Why why you got to uh you know, why why you got to kick a gal in the nuts? I'm I'm happy for her too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Alan, Alan, me and the Bombers have a show in Montgomery County, North Bygod, Carolina on Saturday, okay? <laughs> yeah, where is it? It's at a little place called the Pumpin' Munch. You get two free tickets with the purchase of a full tank of gas, Alan. Ah, oh, the Pumpin' Munch. I know it. It's in North by God, Carolina. Pumpin' Munch. Four by name. Right. <laughs> Did you hear I said you get two free tickets with the... Purchase of a full tank of gas. Yes, yes, I did hear that. Yes, <laughs> two free tickets with the purchase of a full tank of gas. That's right. So those tickets are going to cost you about thirty dollars a piece, is what you're saying. Well, it depends on how exactly. big your tank is. Right. Very exciting. All right. Well, listen. I appreciate you checking in. It's always good to hear from you. Thank you for taking my call. You know I appreciate it for letting me perform my craft, and I'll be talking to you in the future. Uh, best of luck at the pumping munch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Uh, all right. There's Mary Santorum, who will check in occasionally 
when our own Mary Santora is out, and this occasion is no different. I got to get down to the pump and munch. I'm, <laughs> I'm familiar with, I know the come and go, but I've never been to the pump and munch. So, the gas station pump slash and munch comedy is a great club. One. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty it's good. It's good to be Bill Squire. It always feels right when he's in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boy, you can't argue with that. Especially when he's got a collared shirt on. Yeah. How about a that? Of, a lot of button downs these yep. days. This mm-hmm. one's a Batman one. Hmm. Alan Poundkey eats dinner in his bed. There's no way that his room isn't gross and disorganized. That's not true. Hmm. Just because my sheets are dirty, I mean, my whole room's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I eat yeah. <laughs> lasagna in my bed doesn't the mean. <laughs> sauce on my sheets doesn't mean I'm not neat. <laughs> <laughs> At least I hope that's shut your wine sauce. Because I got sauce on my sheets, don't mean I'm not neats. Is that what you said? Essentially. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. no, you can, you can. There, there is a little bit to, to say that I'm not organized it would be wrong. But are there occasions, are there times where I have like some shorts on the ground or like my shoes askew? Sure, but I don't think that makes me messy, nor do I think it makes me un- disorganized. Hmm. I just think. I know you like to think your sheets don't stink, but if you don't wash them, they really, really smell like poop, 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 yeah. So you consider yourself organized, because there's been a number of occasions, just as one example here on the show, where we'll ask you about something that we all got in an email, and you'll say you never saw it. Because you said I don't check my, I didn't check my email. Or... Well, he can't check his work email from anywhere but that. Computer I don't know in what there. it is. So, I see. So when you text us and say, "Hey, no show," like I, I was relaying all the updates. He sure did. Because but there was one day because I, I came because here you and did do, come in a little bit. But I came yeah. in here to do Pride Radio, um, and so I was checking my email. So then that's when I was able to reply, but. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't like me. So if yeah, I, but if we get one at night, I know I got to make sure I text you so that you know, like, oh, don't come in tomorrow. So it would be better for me to just text the group chat then. Yeah, for oh, sure. Okay. I mean, I do email usually just to leave a paper trail. But. Well, again, I will. I will find it. even on days we're off. I still might come in here if I have work to do. I'll come in here and use this computer. But it, the verification code or whatever, it the double verification. Yeah, it never worked. Yeah, it never worked for me, and it won't. Let me, it won't let me. I mean, log it, in. all I'm saying is like an organized person would have figured out how to make that work a long time ago. I tried. No, I no, no. Got- you would have found someone that would have helped you figure that out. Okay, well, I did. So, yeah, I guess I'm disorganized. <laughs> I'm disorganized. Shame. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, disorganized. If somebody, Shame. an organized person, would go, well, I need to solve this problem, they wouldn't just go, well, so. My way, Nothing of, I can do about it. my way of staying organized is to be as minimal as possible. Like my desk over at my morning job literally has nothing on it. It's the most organized desk because there are no pictures. There's no mugs. There's no I, – I, I think I have like a marker and then I have like a box of tissues and then I have like – I do have a mug that a friend got me as a Christmas gift. Um, but other than that – So your, ta- your tack is to have nothing to organize. <laughs> yeah. It's not Is that re- that's not really organizing? Yeah, yeah but, I mean, but that's not not organized. It keeps from getting cluttered. Hmm. That's not not organized. Technically, there was one time not when not when, <laughs> not, not organized mm-hmm. when my gay stayed the night over my house, and he I, I left for the day, and I came home, and he was like, "Dude, what the hell is? Why are all the clothes in the bottom of your closet?" I was like, oh, those are the ones I haven't washed yet. He's like, so you just throw them in the bottom of your closet? I said, well, my hamper was full. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Usually when someone's hamper is full, they go, oh, now oh, I've got to do laundry. laundry. I said, laundry. my yeah. hamper was full. Where was I supposed to put them? I'm not gonna Why just... are all these clothes on top of your full hamper? <laughs> I got to do laundry. <laughs> so oh, I wasn't boy. just going to lay them around. That, I'm not going to put them in the middle of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way. Sorry to everybody who was still jeweling. Oh well, yeah, they're gonna make uh, they're gonna outlaw jewels. This is a tough week. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know jewel was even on. still a thing. Like, is it this thing that like? Um, well, when I first heard the vape thing. Well, yeah, I first heard the story before I saw it. I thought they were talking about the singer, and I was like, it's about time. Well, why are they getting rid of it? Uh, because it's uh, because of the marketing for their lobby. Yeah, they have to stop selling and distributing 
jewel vaping devices and pods. There's that that they uh, they're too toxic or I don't know what. Yeah, it's one of these things where this smacks of whoever Jules' competition was. Yeah, this, was this, like, oh, this is terrible. Big Tobacco's like, uh, enough of that. The public you go, health. You go smoke cigarettes again, right? You know, concerned there about public health. A jewel. I don't know anyone who smokes a jewel. Well, they were. I mean, Jewel was like a, a for a while because it was like a starter vape, mm -hmm. right? Like I don't vape or anything like that, but Jewel was huge because it was. Before people were getting refillable vapes and dropping some coin, you could just go to the friggin' get-go, right? Mm -hmm. And just pull one of these off the shelf, and you're vaping. Boom, you're vaping. Boom, you're vaping. So, yeah, for a while, it was what everybody was doing. Are tobacco companies still billionaires? Like, I, I, never, sure. I never hear about... Because they like, all invested in this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I never hear about, oh, this person invested in tobacco, and he... Struck it rich. Do they keep them? Do they keep it on the DL for a reason? Because <laughs> they don't want people knowing that they got rich from selling tobacco or making cigarettes. I don't know. Uh, no, there's there. I mean, cigarette companies are still a thing. Well, I just never hear about a tobacco CEO. I don't hear anything about them. What CEOs do you hear about? Like the tech CEOs, like people who invest in Bitcoin. Well, there's a lot like, more tech happening. I understand Cigarette that, but I've never heard it's of... It's just a steady, like, they're doing the same thing they've been doing for a long time. Like, it's like, I never hear about like, the guy There's not who, a lot of developments in cigarette technology. Right. Like, I, I don't know about the guy who, who made Virginia Slim Menthols. Like, is he a billionaire? I mean, Philip Morris is still a company. Okay. So, there is a CEO of that company. Who's the CEO of Winston-Salem? Well, that's a town... Also, a cigarette. <laughs> Winston was a cigarette, yeah. Winston. Back back in the day, Winston Salem is the town, probably from which it was derived, right? I'm assuming because I yeah. we drove through it. Winston is a subsidiary now of some Japanese company. Oh, me and my Winston, mm. we got a real good thing. You know, back when they were advertising cigarettes back in the day. Oh, cigarette advertisements were. Wild. They were great. <laughs> they were like, and so healthy for yeah. you, too. And bringing that cool menthol <laughs> air into your lungs. Yeah. Cigarette ads. Here's the last cigarette ad to appear on television. The Philip Morris Company has bought all commercial time on the first half hour of all the network talk shows tonight. That is the last half hour on which it is legal to sell cigarettes on radio or television. In the I thought it went way longer than that. I didn't know it 1971. was. 1971. I wasn't even born yet when cigarette ads were off television. I thought they were on into like the 80s. I don't understand why they got banned. It's, it's still, they serve alcohol still. They have alcohol commercials. Why, what's, any, what's the difference? Don't know. United States. It marks, as we like to say, the end of an era. It's been a long era. I guess maybe really sophisticated advertising for cigarettes began when George Washington Hill wanted to start women on the habit, but was afraid of popular criticism. In those days, it was assumed that women were somehow finer creatures than men. Anyhow, Hill... How are we going to get the ladies to smoke <laughs> cigarettes? Uh... Light up for lucky. It's light up time. Be happy, go lucky. It's light up time. Light up a lucky strike. Yeah, Paul Malls, all that stuff. And then I think they lasted in in print ads longer than television, and then those went away too. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? It's not, not like this company cares about people, or like uh, this country cares about people's health. They're uh no, yeah, it actually is kind of a good point. Like, why are why? so many other things that are unhealthy okay to advertise, but cigarettes is where they drew the line? Yeah, and early too. Like yeah. this, what this thing going to the nineties? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think that cigarette companies had already started to transition to print. So maybe I think they're I, doing both. I think. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they still wanted to be able to advertise on TV. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. The jewel ban was blocked by an appeals court. Somebody said. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, to play some of these like fifties and sixties uh, retro commercials. I just hate to see 
because the vape stores really flooded the market. Uh I hate to see how quickly some of the vape stores went out of business because it was a great source of awful puns Mm -hmm. for a while. And I don't know which ones are still around and which ones aren't. Planet of the Vapes is still around. Planet of the Vapes is still around? Yep. I know. I've seen it. I drive past it all the time. Oh, it's great. Planet of the Vapes. Yep. Yeah, they're huge. Like they're they're like a chain. Are they? Mm-hmm. Land of Vape and Honey. Is that another one? <laughs> the Christian Vaping Store. <laughs> um the, there's a Flintstones uh cigarette commercial that's I just emailed to you. That oh yeah, when they're like, Hey yeah. Fred, let's yeah. yeah. Hey Fred. Hey Fred. You wanna have a cigarette? These are smooth cigarettes. You wanna have a Winston cigarette? <laughs> Work hard, don't they, Barney? Yeah. I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Um, let's go around back. Well, we can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> because Betty Rubble's beating a rug on the clothesline, and Wilma is mowing the lawn with an alligator. <laughs> we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? I, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston got- flavor. I always love that. Oh, yeah. the flavor. The flavor. And some of the ads were like, this cigarette preferred by doctors, you know. <laughs> Let's flavor. go around back so we can't see them. Got that filter blend. Yeah, Fred. Filter blend makes the big taste difference, and only Winston has it. I think that was Dino where it comes. mowing the lawn. Oh, Dino mowing yeah. the lawn, yeah. And these are like 90-second commercials, yeah. too. I don't know if these were on television or... Yeah. Did they have YouTube back then? Were these just on YouTube? I, I, I don't think they were on YouTube Oh, because it's on, I'm reading it on yeah. YouTube now. And then towards the end of the commercial, Wilma gets a cigarette. So it's oh. fun for the whole family. They pop Does one in Pebbles, Pebbles and one? Bam Bam's yeah. mouth, too? Here, Maybe. the head of the Pure White... ...has been brought to you by Winston, America's best-selling, best-tasting filter cigarette. Tastes good like a cigarette should. <laughs> oh boy, Winston tastes mm-hmm. good like a cigarette should. Yeah, yeah. The Flintstones. Was that a primetime TV show? I believe that it was. That's crazy. at some point. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's all kinds of vape jokes, but vape pu- vape shop puns. Somebody created a vape shop business generator <laughs> that you could. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. And what's my vape shop? Grape animal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Naked and grape. <laughs> uh, grape vape. Hey. Whatever um, about that. We got more. Do you want to start the weekend? I do. All hey, right. Everybody. Dying to. All those dulcet tones mean that it's time for the Bill Squire Friday Get Down, brought to you in honor of the late, great Murray Saul here at WMMS by Cleveland Whiskey. It's how we know the uh, weekend's underway. Take it away, William. It's Friday! And you got to, got, to, got to get down on Friday. Get yourself some Cleveland Whiskey and head out to see Mary Santorum at the Pumpin' Munch. Pop muncha, pop muncha, pop muncha! It's Friday! Youch! Light up a Winston after that one. Yeah. It's some tastes delicious good. flavor yeah. in your throat. Well, Cleveland whiskey tastes good like whiskey should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's sold in over a dozen states. They've got delicious summertime recipes, too. You can go to clevelandwhiskey.com to get all the details on everything that they're doing. Clevelandwhiskey.com. It's the Alan 